The Russian Ministry of Industry and Trade has allocated 1.5 billion rubles to improve the technological solutions and system component architecture of drones and aircraft. According to SNUS, the government procurement documents suggest that authorities intend to provide aircraft with new, competitive domestic equipment. Aviation instrument-making companies are now responsible for quickly introducing domestically produced electronic component base, ECB, parts and systems into onboard radio electronic equipment for aircraft scheduled for production within the next two to four years. The procurement documents do not indicate whether the affordable ECB will be of Russian or foreign origin. Companies in the aviation industry will implement the findings of this initiative in developing components for all categories of manned aircraft, including the SJ-100, MC-21, and civilian drones. PJSC Yakovlev, PJSC Ilyushin, JSC Tupolev, and other companies within the integrated structure of United Aircraft Corporation are potential consumers. According to the documents, the implementation of new generation domestic computing systems and electronic blocks will achieve the integration of Russian aircraft into the global airspace system and maintain the necessary level of aviation safety. The contractor is required to create a universal control and servo drive unit for light aircraft and drones, as well as an intelligent control interface in accordance with the state contract. Furthermore, the contract encompasses the creation of a family of high-performance mezzanine processor modules that are designed for medium to heavy civilian drones and piloted aircraft and are constructed using affordable ECB. Another project involves the development of strapped-down inertial navigation system hardware that is both compact and high-precision, utilizing affordable ECB. Piloted aircraft and heavy civilian drones will employ these systems. This will expedite the introduction of new domestic onboard radio electronic equipment and its serial production through the use of affordable ECB, as per the Ministry of Industry and Trade. The open tender was released in late February 2025. Applications will be accepted until March 17th, and the results will be disclosed on March 19th. The contract must be finalized by December 1st, 2027. In late February 2025, the Sukhoi Superjet 100 was certified with a maximum number of Russian components and systems, and the Ministry of Industry and Trade allocated 27.6 billion rubles for R&D work, according to the news source. The ministry is prioritizing the replacement of foreign components with domestic equivalents, the enhancement of operational performance, and the expansion of the aircraft's capability. According to the ministry, the standard aircraft design will have more than 80 import substituted components and systems, such as an onboard electronic equipment suite, a main propulsion system, and an aviation interior. The primary objective of the research and development project is to integrate the RRJ-95 New 100 modification into the standard design of the RRJ-95 aircraft with the highest possible degree of import substitution. This task necessitates the refinement of prototypes, the enhancement of design documentation, the expansion of avionics functionality, and a series of certification tests. The following are critical tasks. The development of a modular interior, a built-in staircase, and an additional fuel system, the testing of systems with the PD-8 engine, endurance and static airframe tests, and ground and flight tests. According to the Ministry of Industry and Trade, the standard aircraft design will include more than 80 import substituted components and systems, such as an onboard electronic equipment suite, a main propulsion system, and an aviation interior. In general, the objective of the project is to enhance the performance, reliability, and service life of the equipment by expanding operational conditions. To satisfy the needs of aviation authorities and operators, new functions and alternatives will be implemented. In 2018, the import substitution initiative for SJ-100 was initiated. The domestically developed PD-8 engine, which was developed by the United Engine Corporation, Replace the French SIM-146 engine from 2018 to 2024, as indicated by tender documents. The R&D work tender was released on February 25, 2025. The ministry is collecting applications for the electronic auction until March 13, 
and the winner will be announced on March 18. The initiative is a component of the state programs, scientific and technological development of the Russian Federation, and development of the aviation industry. It also adheres to the International Aviation Specifications, AP-21, FAR-25, and CS-25. The project is being executed under the Unified System of Design Documentation and GHOST standards, which guarantee its compatibility with current industry standards. The R&D work is divided into three segments, which are scheduled to take place from 2025 to 2027. The fabrication of prototype components, aircraft modifications, preliminary testing, and documentation refinement will take place in 2025. In 2026, operational conditions will be expanded to include isolated bench tests and system enhancements to enhance takeoff and landing characteristics. In 2027, the final testing, certification documentation approval, and preparation for serial production will be completed. The SJ-100 program is designed to finalize a comprehensive set of certification activities between 2025 and 2027. These comprise additional tests to improve performance, validation of new components and systems, and ongoing ground and flight tests. Additionally, there are plans to enhance the takeoff and landing characteristics, expand the functionality of avionics, and broaden the geographical range of aircraft operations. The RRJ-95 NewDo-100 modification will be developed with the highest possible use of Russian components and systems. The import-substituted SJ-100 will not be available for at least one year. Sergei Chemizov, the CEO of Rostec, announced after January 2025 that the import-substituted Superjet-100 would not be produced in volume until 2026. For both the MC-21 and the import-substituted Superjet-100, we are entering the most critical phase, flight testing. Serial deliveries can only begin after the aircraft, its systems, and components have undergone full testing, confirmed reliability and safety, and received the necessary approvals. There is no way to accelerate these processes. When we add up all the required steps, 2026 is the earliest possible start, Chemizov explained. Serial production of the SJ-100 with foreign components was discontinued in 2022 as a result of sanctions imposed on Russia in response to its military operation in Ukraine. This information is particularly noteworthy. The import-substituted aircraft, which are equipped with Russian PD-8 engines and other domestic systems, are scheduled for delivery in 2026, according to industry ministries. Now, do you think Russia should foster private companies in this sector? Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership in our channel to encourage us.